We are back from Invesco Field in Denver. Again, this is normally the home of the Denver Broncos. Tonight, though, a historic marker will be placed, at least metaphorically, at the center of this football field because it's where Barack Obama will deliver his history-making speech accepting the Democratic presidential nomination. As we've mentioned, it comes on the 45th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. As NBC's Mike Taibbi reports tonight, that speech made this day a day many have dreamed about. Wisconsin State Senator and Delegate Spencer Coggs came to the convention with his wife and with his son who traveled here from Japan. He's in the, in the Navy uh, and he wanted to come and uh, be a part of history. The course of that history set by Dr. King's iconic speech 45 years ago. I have a dream. A speech Coggs, as a grammar school kid, only saw on television but never forgot. That's why historically I wanted to be here today, because Senator Obama uh, getting the nomination as an African-American means so much to not just us, but the nation. The success of Obama's journey toward the nomination, shown in these photographs from the New York Times, seemed so improbable that many African-Americans were slow to believe. That includes Georgia Congressman John Lewis, who shared the podium with Dr. King on the Washington Mall that day, and who initially supported Senator Hillary Clinton's campaign. But by last February, Obama had won him over. Barack Obama had emerged as someone who was free of the scars and stains of segregation and racial discrimination. He had an appeal that was all-inclusive. But while there have been many, many setbacks since Dr. King first described his dream, some younger African-American leaders are excited not just over Obama's success, but about what might follow. On the day of the King's speech, there were but five African-American members of Congress. Now, oh, Indiana's Andre absolutely. Carson is one of 40, including the biracial senator who has earned his party's nomination for the nation's highest office. He is the next step. We're the next step. All We're right. all the next step. Obama's journey isn't finished, of course. A nomination is not an election. But so many families, like the Cogs, are thrilled by it. It's like a symbol that we can do more, we can be more, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Not the achievement of all that Dr. King imagined. I think that everything that's been done, good or bad or indifferent, led up to, to today's successful portion of the dream. Just the next portion of the dream, hard won by another singular figure in history. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, Denver.